got the bait all taped up and ready to go. We're going to be keeping this pattern transparent, so we're not going to be doing a base coat of white. What we will be starting off with is a Wicked Colors Wicked Aluminum. We're going to be giving the whole bait a nice base coat in that. We're going to be doing two layers of the Wicked Aluminum and we'll be hair drying in between. Wicked Silver is on the bait. The next color we're going to be using is the transparent sand. We're going to be spraying that just below the silver line and all the way up to the top. Some of it's gonna get on the gill plate. We're going to be doing a different color there later, so I'm not too worried about covering the gill plate, but I know some of the overspray is gonna come on there. So top to just below the center line and the transparent sand. After the transparent sand, we're going to be taking some pearlized satin gold, and we're going to be giving the bait a good dusting on it. I'm not going to be spraying the bait super, super thick. I just want it to have that nice little sparkle over top of our sand color. To help achieve this, I'm going to be holding the airbrush a little bit further away from the bait than I normally do, and that'll kind of help the paint to disperse and give it a nice dusting rather than painting it solid gold. Okay, next up we're going to be putting on some netting for a scale pattern and the netting I chose has got really really thin lines. I didn't want to do something that was real thick like this one because this is not going to be the main focus of the pattern. It's just a little subtle detail that we're going to be throwing in there. Okay we got our netting clamped on there nice and tight. The next color we're going to be doing is this olive deep green and is a airbrushable ink. And spraying this one on there, we're going to be doing pretty similar to how we just did that gold. I want it to be a little bit more controlled. I don't want the green coming down here real far onto the belly of the bait or covering the gill plate too much since it is a darker color. And we're not going to be spraying it a solid green because I still want some of that gold to show through. We're just kind of layering the colors. So it's real difficult to see, but there is a little bit of the scale pattern on there. When the sun or the light hits it just right, you can see a little bit better there. That way the gold's still showing through and the green isn't solid, so it'll kind of reflect both colors. Next up, we're going to be spraying this Wicked Blue. We're going to keep it just up on the gill plate. We'll probably spray the nose, but the main focus will be keeping it on the gill plate and up around the eye. So this pattern is a definitely a trust the process pattern. Our next step, we're going to be spraying some transparent black. And we're going to be using a stencil pattern, which is just some vertical stripes. If you guys don't have any stencils like that, don't worry, you can cut some on some paper. I also have the one I'm using today available on my website. What I'm going to be doing is just holding the stencil in place with my hands. And what we're going to be doing is lightly spraying the transparent black. I'm going to be hitting all these lines all the way down and then up here I'm going to try to keep the black off of the gill plate. I don't want there to be a ton on there. There's a little bit of overspray that's no big deal so we're going to be doing some more black on the gill plate later. I don't want this to be solid black so make sure you spray lightly because the other black we'll be adding later on will be solid and if you go solid with all of it it'll end up way too dark. color we're using is just some simple transparent black. So you can see the difference on that top part. I got it a little bit darker. I think we're going to try to add part of a stripe right there. It just kind of looks a little strange to me. I'll repeat the same process on this side. I do think this side looks a little bit better. <laughs> now I have to go darker on the back ones to get it to match. Aiming more for like the shadowed line, like that is versus that, but that's okay. We can go a little bit darker. 
And we're going to add that extra little line up here on top. And while we have the black loaded in the airbrush, we're going to pull out another stencil, which is this bad boy. I'll have this linked in the description below. Uh, you can get one of these from Barlow's Tackle. We're going to be using just the fine detailed portion of the stencil here, and we're going to be spraying it on the gill plate right over top of that blue. I'm gonna to try to get a couple more down here on the bottom portion. There we go. I'm gonna repeat the same step on the other side. I'm gonna call that good for now. We might come back here in a little bit and add a couple more of those. I'm not too sure at the moment. However, while we still have the black in the airbrush, we are going to darken up the back of the bait. We got something a little wonky going on there. Hopefully we can hide that a little bit. And then we're going to hit the nose of the bait and kind of fade it in right to where the eye will be. All in all, not too bad. One more thing we're going to do while we're here is use a, a little circle stencil and right where the ear of that gill plate comes out, we're gonna spray that solid black. And the last thing we're going to be doing with the black is I'm going to spray the bottom of the fin right here. Just a little bit, I'm going to have the airbrush aimed this direction. I'm not going to do it straight on. I just want to hit just the little nub of the fin down here and let that overspray kind of cast up onto the fin. For some reason, my black paint is being kind of finicky with me today. So hopefully I can do this without ruining the bait. Okay, most of the final colors will be focused on the belly of the bait. And the reason I waited till the end to do that is sometimes whenever you're using these little clamps to hold the stencil on, it can scratch the belly. And so if I'm going to be spraying a color on the bottom later, I've figured out that your belly colors can help cover some of those scratches if you accidentally do that. You don't have to do all the colors I'm about to do, but to keep you guys updated on the colors I'm using, the first one is going to be a pearlized pineapple. So some pearl pineapple. And what we're going to be doing is spraying the pearl pineapple up here on the front of the belly, just past this first eyelet right in here. We're gonna leave the center of the bait silver and spray a little bit more of the pearl pineapple down there. And I'm also going to have it kind of fade up the side of the bait down to where that fin is. Next color is going to be some pearlized tangerine. We're going to be doing the exact same thing that we just did. However, we still want that yellow to show, so we're not going to spray the orange quite as far. We'll probably spray it up to right in here and then let that yellow have that portion of the bait. And finally, our last belly color is going to be some bright red. We're going to hit it just up here on the front, right where the bill meets the bait. And since we're here, I'm gonna add just a little bit down here on the bottom as well. Okay, the last two things that we're going to do to this bait is we're going to add a little strip of white there on the gill plate and then glue in some eyes. For the white, I'm just going to be using a little paintbrush. If you're going to be painting a bunch of these, a stencil would be helpful, but in this case, I'm just going to be using the paintbrush since it's such a little amount of paint. I'm going to put a little bit of white on the tip of the brush. I'm gonna add it just to the back of the gill there. Just like that. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. And final step will be to glue in some eyes. And the eyes I have chosen for this one are these yellow look back ones. I'm gonna add just a little dab of glue. Thank you. 
And there we have it. I think it turned out pretty good. I do think the pattern looks a little bit better when those vertical stripes are not quite as dark. But in the end, the bass won't know that they weren't supposed to be that dark. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to get some clear coat put on this and we'll come back, take a look at what she looks like all finished up.